Hey everyone. Um, just been taking the day off, kind of, and also so I'm taking a week off from doing the readings, um, which means I'm going to be a few days. There's going to be a few days gap after twenty third. So I'm just letting everybody know now there's going to be a gap after the 23rd, but I should be back. Uh, what's the day after? I should be back on the 27th. Meeting a nice Ollie now, just to be on the safe side. I'm sure, I'm sure I end up in the toilet tonight. <laughs> Fuck it. Might as well. Um, I spoke to the NHS about, you know, the constant coughing. Because it's worse at night. Oh my god. Sorry. It's worse at night than it is during the day. Like the whole day I haven't been coughing at all. It's just it's just not been happening. I haven't been coughing. Um, but as soon as I rest my head at night, the coughs get really, really bad and then I end up throwing up. Now I don't know if it's a stomach bug or I don't know if it's, it doesn't feel like a stomach bug because if I, if it was a stomach bug, then this would be, there would be this sort of um, like this constant feeling of like being ill and stuff like that. Cause I've had a stomach bug before and it never used to feel like this. It never used to feel like all I had to do was just throw up and then I, you know, and then no cough. I'm completely back to normal. Like it was never like that. So I think that um, what might have happened is that I might have been hit with a vomit gum. I don't know for sure, but it, it sounds like a likely thing. The truth, the, the truth is, the vomit could be anything. But to me, it just sounds like it just sounds like it could have been a vomit gum. I mean, I've had weapons that have made me nauseous and dizzy before. I've had weapons that have attacked my head and kind of left me dizzy for about five or six hours. So if I'm being hit with a vomit gun every night, then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be of any surprise to me. I mean, vomit guns can penetrate walls and stuff like that. And I mean, it's online for everybody to see if they want to look. <coughs> but yeah, vomit guns can penetrate walls. And you know, vomit guns can penetrate walls and they can definitely cause a person to, to vomit. So, you know, it's not newfangled technology. It definitely exists. So it's likely that it could be a vomit gun. But I'm not ruling out the possibility that it could be a stomach bug, even though my hygiene is not, not bad, not bad. It's not bad. I keep this place relatively clean. Um... But it's um could be a bug, could be um why I call it there. It could be a bug, it could be ate something bad. But I don't know what I could have eaten though, because I'm very, very like stringent with my cooking. And I always try to make sure I cook everything thoroughly. So it can't be that. Yeah, so I'm trying to understand. It could be a stomach bug. It could it could be a stomach bug. It could be it could be the flu. Cause I did start out coughing, right? I started out coughing for the best part of a month before all of this vomit showed up. So it could be the flu. Could be stomach bug. Could be somebody said COVID. And I'm like, nah. No, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Like look, it, I don't even want to go there. But um But it's one of those occasions where it literally could be anything. My thing is, if it is really, truly a stomach bug, then why is it that I'm only vomiting like within days of each other? Like the last time I vomited was like about a week ago, a bit, you know, about a week ago or so, like a few days ago. So if it was really a stomach bug, then why would it get to a point where I'm coughing and I'm only throwing up like like once and then going back to bed? It just doesn't make any sense. Like the, the symptoms of having a stomach bug and the symptoms of having 
<coughs> the symptoms of having flu, it just doesn't seem consistent with what it is that I'm going through. I, I personally being think, I personally, sorry, being think, yeah, you see, you see how these weapons have affected me already. I've been getting weapons fired at my head. But for me, I definitely think that it's a vomit gun. It's a vomit gun. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But a vomit gun is one of those things that's difficult to prove. If you get like erosions on your on your skin or on your organs, then those things are easier to prove than if you're being hit with a vomit gun or not. But there are multiple directed energy weapons and acoustic weapons with multiple kinds of capabilities. There are so many different kinds that can be used on a person, especially with drone technology. So I really think it's a vomit gun. Again, I can only imagine how much more fucked up my symptoms would have been if I was sleeping in my own bedroom. How much more fucked up, because the thing is, I've had injuries in here similar to when I was in my own bedroom. And in my own bedroom, it was always worse to the point where I couldn't fucking sleep. So if I'm vomiting like this now, so I can only imagine what it would have been like in my own bedroom. To all my fellow TIs out there, check the Saturn Chronicles if you don't believe me. I was fucking bed, like me being, <coughs> me having back and hip pain, in my bedroom led to me being unable to walk for walk properly for two fucking weeks go fucking check the if you don't believe me go and look up the saturn chronicles on youtube it's mostly me ranting but i'm in bed i'm in bed i can't move i can't walk i can't do anything i needed crutches to walk or i had to crawl to the bathroom so if I was in my own room and the vomiting was going on like that, nobody would be sleeping. I could tell you that right now for nothing. If I was sleeping in my own room, I swear to God, nobody would be sleeping. Nobody would be sleeping. And I know that I could take it as a hidden blessing because if I'm not sleeping in my own room and I'm getting irritable at people because the torture is worse and I'm vomiting and my back's hurting and I can't walk and shit, if I'm, if neighbors are complaining about me being sick because they're good, no, this, you have to remember the neighbors are going to weaponize everything in order to make me look crazy. So if I'm <coughs> laid out in my bedroom, unable to walk, if I'm vomiting everywhere, if nobody can sleep, because remember, where I'm situated, the restaurant is behind me. There are people sleeping behind me. So where I'm situated, there are people sleeping behind me, right? So nobody, ain't nobody fucking sleeping. I go in my room and I get hit with the vomit gun. I get hit with directed energy weapons on my back <clears throat> and on my hips. Ain't nobody sleeping. Ain't nobody sleeping. Trust me on that. Seriously. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, I have to take a bit of a rest today because I know <clears throat> I know tonight these people are gonna buy the vomit gun again and it's gonna match the same thing. You know? So yeah, let's see what happens though. Let's see what happens. But um yeah that's that's basically my day. Just been doing absolutely nothing just completely resting up. I haven't even been on my laptop, which honestly has put me in a much better mood. 
So I've been mostly on the phone, like napping in between, <coughs> listening to videos and stuff. And you know, it's been good. It's been good. I needed it. I needed that time to like just tune out and do nothing. I usually spend all day doing fucking readings. So this allowed me to tune out. It allowed me to sort of just focus on myself. But anyway, I gotta go. Thank you for sticking with me. I'm sorry that the video was so unfocused and but you had to learn, you had to know what was going on with me because I feel like it has something to do with electronic weaponry. And if it has something to do with electronic weaponry, then yeah. Yeah, it's important. There are vomit guns out there, so you know it's an, it's important for people to know. Anyway, I've got to go. You guys take care. Mm. Bye-bye.